Welcome to a new Practice Better Hack video. I'm Shelly Myers, Business Success Coach for Practice Better. Today's video is all about showing you how you can easily create a session note from a form that was completed by your client. So this is a little bit different from our form mappings feature where you can import the completed form into the client's file. In this case, the questions and responses will go directly on the session notes and bypass the client's file. So we take a look over here at a our demo client Addy. This down here is the client file. So we have this basic information, which is demographic and contact information. You have your medical history. You have your diet and lifestyle. So this really makes sense to do the form mappings when you want completed forms from say your initial intake forms. Um, but not every form that you send, you're going to want to map to the client file. Sometimes you just want it to go right to a session note so you can add to it or make changes during your session. So how you would do that, we're just gonna head down to the client forms and waivers. And since Addie and I are working on goal setting right now, I had her complete this get ready to set goals form. So you can see here. So this is the type of form where you're probably not going to want this information to be stored in the file. It's definitely going to be stored in your you know, in your platform under the, the client's record, but it's not going to go over to the individual fields in their um, basic information or medical history or diet and lifestyle. So in this case, I just want this information to go over to my session note. So all I have to do is come over to the three dots next to the completed form and say create notes. So once I do that, I can either um, have this information imported into the note into just a blank template, or since the session that I'm going to be having with my client is called the Client Goal Setting Focus Session, I'm actually gonna pick that template. And then I want all of the questions to come over, whether they were answered or not, but you do have the option to have questions only with answers and then not have the questions that were not answered. But I would choose all questions because even if it's not answered, if you're talking about it during your session, you may want to add that information under the question um, in your session notes. So I'm going to click on create. So now it's taking, it's actually creating a session note for this client. So because I'm going to want to share part of the note with them, I'm going to click here um, because there's a section here at the bottom that I default to visible and I want to share this information when I'm done with my note. Um, so if you want to share anything like a document, protocol, labs, or tasks, you want to make sure that you check this box. Um, so now you can see that the completed form with the questions and the answers did default over to my session note. And now during my session, if I wanted to add a note based on what my client was telling me, so let's say the client wants to update this goal instead of eight hours of sleep per night, she just wants to start off with seven and a half hours because she feels that eight hours is not realistic at this time. So if you're going to add some notes, you can um, change the colors just to keep it separate from your client's responses. So you could make it red. So all of your additions, you could just add in a different color, however you'd like to do it, but at least you're not starting from scratch. So you're starting with what the client responded and then you can add to it or update it. And then down here, when we're finished talking about my client's goals or this particular goal, then I can come down here and complete my plan of action and what are the top three things I want my client to focus on before the next session? But you can see how, how much of a time saver this is because um, I'm not having to do as much typing. I actually can spend more time actively listening, coaching, and not 
typing all this information into my session note. So once you're finished, we can click on save and then save and exit. And I do want my client to get a confirmation that she has a new note that's been shared with her. So now you'll be able to find that note here um, in, in the note section. So I can come and look at this again. Or if you need to, if you still need to, let's say it was the next day and you just want to update it um, to finish it, then you could come in here, add all your updates. Now, again, this is the only section that was shared with my client. You, if you decided you wanted to share this, you could. Um, but maybe you just want to keep this section private. So that's how easy it is to create a session note from a completed form. I hope you enjoyed this Practice Better Hack video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch.